we're just finding an easier seat. Breathing in, getting a little bit taller in our spine. And breathing out. We're gonna start to add some movement. Breathing in, arms come up. Exhale, push it away. Again, breathing in, arms come up. Start to generate some energy, push it away. One more, breathing in, arms come up. Come on, everybody. Exhale, push it away. And let's generate a little more energy. This is a three-part breath. So you're gonna breathe in and up. Breathe in, push it out. Breathe in, up. And then throw it behind you, out. Again, up. Breathe in, out. Breathe in, up. Breathe out, push it behind you. Up, out, up. Throw it behind you, one more. Up, out, up. Throw it behind you. Breathe in, up, and hold. Inhale, get a little taller. Exhale, drop your right hand behind your back. Inhale, get a little taller. Exhale, twist, looking over your right shoulder. Breathe in, both arms come up. Exhale, drop your left arm behind you. Breathe in, get a little taller. Breathe out, twist, like wringing out a towel. Visualize everything from the rest of your day, just ringing out. Breathe in, arms come up. Exhale, forward fold. Doesn't matter how far you go. Bringing your nose towards the floor and see if you can walk your hands out a little bit further. Rolling up nice and slow. Breathe in, bringing your right foot in towards your chest and starting to rock out your hip left and right. If you're practicing from a chair, you can also put your hands on your hips and add a little bit of movement, rocking side to side. So your options are pulling your knee in and rocking side to side or placing your hands on your hips and rocking side to side. Take your right foot, place it behind you, prepare for animal stretch. Breathe in, arms come up. Breathe out, twisting towards your left knee and dropping down. Placing your hands firmly into the floor or the mat, onto the arms of a chair or your lap. Dan, I need to go right now. Breathe in, arms come up, do what you gotta do. And exhale, drop your arms down, switch legs. Inhale, bringing your left leg in towards your body, rocking side to side, feeling that stretch in your left outer hip. Option to place your hands on your hips and rock side to side. You choose. Inhale, take your left foot, swing it behind your body. Legs are like a pinwheel or your hands can stay on your hips. Breathe in, arms come up. Exhale, twist towards your right knee, melting your chest towards the floor, becoming one with the ground.
Breathe in, arms come up, feet come together, preparing for cobbler pose. Grabbing your toes and pulling up, sitting taller up in your seat. Chin is parallel with the floor. And then dropping your chin down slightly and looking left very slowly. Looking right very slowly. Again, looking left, tracing your collarbone with your chin. And then looking right. And then slowly rolling your head backwards. Slow neck rolls one way. If you notice your shoulders starting to come up, see if you can pull your shoulder blades back down your back. Get that really good stretch in your neck. And then roll your neck the other way. Rolling your head very slow. And if you notice any sticky spots, just see if you can give that a little bit of extra love. You can even massage your hand into that spot. Very nice. Legs come out straight in front of you or just sit up taller in your seat. Excellent. Breathe in, arms come up. Exhale forward, fold, reaching towards your knees or your ankles or your toes. If you wanna put a slight bend in your knees, that's always a good idea. Relax your heels or relax your knees to give you a little bit deeper of a stretch and then rolling up slow. Come to a tabletop. So your arms and knees are in one line, hands below your shoulders, or you can just bring your hands to your hips if you're staying seated. And you're going to slow cat roll first, dropping your belly or pressing your belly forward with your hands on your hips. And then rolling your back, arching your back up towards the ceiling, looking towards your knees or the back of the mat. Again, dropping your belly down. Looking up slightly, good. And then rolling your back, arching upwards, looking back towards the back of the room. Again, drop your belly down. Remember, you can always add neck rolls, slow neck rolls, arch your back up. Drop your belly down. and then come to a child's pose. Child's pose, if it's your first time yogaing with us, pull back into your seat. Knees can stay together or slightly apart, and you're sitting into your heels, reaching your hands forward towards the mat and dropping your forehead down. You can also option to reach forward as far as you can. You can also bring your hands up over your head and kind of sway them back and forth, feeling that stretch in your shoulders. Walk your hands to the left in child's pose or swing your arms to the left. Pulling your back back towards your heels. Don't lose the stretch. Good, walk your hands to the right or swing your arms up over your head to the right. Again, pulling your left seat back into your left heel, feeling that stretch up your left side. Good, slowly coming into tabletop or you can reach towards your knees. 
We're going to slowly make our way up, bringing our hands to our hips. Right foot comes out. And you can start by just rocking slowly into this hip, or you can place your hands down for a deeper stretch with your right leg extended. Option to stay with your hands on your hips or slowly start bringing your hands over, rocking them side to side. Kind of like a palm tree swaying. So you can stay here or you can stay with extended leg. Rocking forward and back. Excellent. Coming back to tabletop, drop your belly down, look up, breathe in, arch your back, breathe out. Drop your belly down, breathe in, arch your back, breathe out. Left leg extends. Sole of your foot is flat to the ground. If it's more comfortable, you can always come up. Sometimes if you have a wrist injury or something, um, or if you've been using your wrists a lot, this might be just enough to kind of rock back and forth. Or if you're looking for a deeper stretch, you can plant your hands and rock back and forth. Excellent, guys, you look great. Remember coming back to that intention of sending gratitude. Don't get lost. Tabletop. You're going to pull up and back into downward dog. So first bring your knees up just to hover. And then pulling your hips up towards the sky. Upside down letter V. You can walk your heels up and down, walking your dog. You should feel a nice stretch up the back of your calves. Hold, breathe in. Pull your belly in towards your spine. You can look left and right. Come to child's pose. If you're staying seated, do some neck rolls and pull your hands out towards the camera or towards your knees. Rock side to side. Big breath in. Big breath out. Excellent. Walk your feet up to standing. Hang down just for a moment and rock side to side. Head is heavy like a bowling ball. Remember, you can always put your hands on your hips and rock side to side, adding in your neck rolls. And then rolling up three, two, one. There I am, okay. <laughs> All right, so find your mountain pose. Open up across your chest. Chin is nice and parallel with the floor, looking forward. Palms face out towards the screen. And you're finding steadiness in your thighs and in your, the trunk of your body. Big breath in, big breath out. Another breath in, another breath out. Is anyone else sweating? I just started to sweat. <laughs> One more breath in. No, just me, okay. <laughs> and another breath out, that's all right. I appreciate the honesty. Bring your right knee in towards your body. 
If you can pull it while you're sitting down, if you can pull your knee up towards your body with your arms, you can try that and roll your ankle around. Try your best. And if you're not rolling your ankle, you can always roll your wrists or do both. And then roll your ankle the other way, finding balance, excellent job. Find something in the room that's not moving to find your balance. Good job, everyone. Very steady. Find stillness. And then bring your foot in for tree. Remember, you can go low, you can go high, just don't place it on your knee. So either right below the knee, you can come above the knee, or you can come towards your ankle and just rest your toes on the floor and then bring your hands in towards your heart. Make sure you can still wiggle your toes on your left foot so nothing's crunching. If you're staying seated, bring your hands in towards your heart and pull open across your shoulders. Breath in and out. Big breath in and out. Good job, everyone. Switch left leg up and in. Start by rolling. First, find steadiness. Make sure you're not crunching your toes on your standing foot. And then slow rolls with your left ankle. If you want a challenge, you can try closing your eyes. <laughs> Maybe you flutter them closed just for a second, see how much more challenging that is. And then roll it the other way. And then second side, maybe you try a little bit higher. Maybe you try lower, maybe you try right below the knee, just don't place it on the knee. Especially if you are, you know, you run track, really any sports, you don't wanna ever put pressure on that knee. If you're staying seated, see if you can pull your knee open a little bit with your hands and get a little stretch in your lower body. And then bring your arms, your hands in towards your heart. Breath in, steady. And out. Good guys. Big breath in. And out. Shake that out. And then coming into a star, five point star. So spread your limbs as far as you can really so that you kind of resemble a star shape. Bring your arms out to a T. And you're gonna start by just dropping your left hand down your side, right hand comes up looking up towards your body, you're in one nice line and you're not crunching forward. Pretend you're leaning up against a wall and picture someone's there just pulling your finger up a little bit higher. Good, other side. So right hand leans down, left hand leans up towards the ceiling. Again, see if you can kind of get a little taller and looking up, breath in and out. Coming back to the star, arms like a T, good. Bend your knees slightly and then reach towards the ground, planting your hands, palms to the floor. Maybe you need to bend your knees a little bit or bend your elbows and see how far you can get. Maybe you get your head, the crown of your head down towards the floor. Maybe you get, you know, just looking towards the back wall, wherever you are is totally fine. Excellent, you should feel that nice zip of the back of your legs, turning your toes inward towards the mat. Come to child's pose, slowly make your way to the ground. 
Excellent. Forehead comes down to the mat. You're sitting nice and deep into your heels. Fingers are reaching towards the front of the mat. Forehead comes down. Rock side to side. And then sliding forward onto your belly. Or bring your arms up over your head. Pushing up into a cobra. Could be low, could be high. Elbows can be straightened or they can have a bend. Fingers are spread wide on your palms and you're opening across your shoulders, looking up. Big breath in. Exhale, lower to the floor. Make a pillow with your hands. Windshield wiper your legs back and forth. Or you can rock your arms back and forth and roll your wrists around. Really shaking out the lower back. Excellent. Legs come out long. Palms come right below your shoulders. And you're just going to peel up, pushing your hands towards the mat. Palms coming flat. Forearms are flat with the mat and your elbows are right under your shoulders. Looking up for Sphinx. Breathe in. Exhale, lower back down. Windshield wiper your legs. Rock side to side, make a pillow with your hands. Excellent. Come to stillness, friend, bend your knees in towards your back. Reach for your ankles. You can stay here. Or on your next breath in, you can lift everything up. Breathe in, point your toes towards the back of the room. <laughs> Good job. Exhale, lower to the ground. Let's try one more. Heels come in towards your back, reaching towards your ankles. Big breath in, lifting everything up off the mat. Breathe in, hold. Exhale, lower everything. Good job. Child's pose. Sit back in your heels. Rock side to side. Fingers are spread wide. Come to a seat. Okay, so left leg's going to come out long. Right leg, you're gonna hug in towards your body. You can flex your toes, pointing them up towards the ceiling, and then point your toes, pointing them forward. Flex, pointing them up. Point, pointing them forward. Again, flex, pointing up, and point. Flex and hold. Right foot crosses over for a figure four. You can also take your arm and pull it across your body. So right leg is across left, right arm is across your body. And you're looking in the opposite direction. So looking towards your right shoulder. Breathe in, get a little taller. Breathe out. Right leg goes long. Left leg comes up and in. Point your toes up on your right foot. I'm sorry, flex your toes and then point towards the screen. Flex and point. If you want to add a little challenge, you can bring your leg up off the mat, feeling that quadricep muscle, pointing up, 
and pointing towards the screen, flexing up, pointing towards the screen, feeling that a little. One more, flex up, see you can lift a little higher and point, dropping it down. Right leg comes across left for figure four. Left arm pulls across your body. Inhale, looking towards your left shoulder. Exhale. Inhale, get a little taller. Exhale. Excellent, release. Bringing back to that cobbler pose. Soles of your feet touch. And you're just gonna peel your feet open, pulling the soles of your feet to face the ceiling, kind of giving a little massage. So the you're looking at the bottoms of your toes. Breathe in, pulling on your toes, arching your chest forward. Exhale, rounding. Breathe in to arch your chest forward. Exhale, rounding. One more, breathing in. Exhale, round. Making your way to your back or finding a comfier position seated. And starting to find your final relaxation, melting into the mat. So if you have a phone on you, you can go ahead and put that to the side. A tablet, you can go ahead and put that to the side. Really give yourself this moment to be away from a screen, even though I know we're on a screen. <laughs> but really just give this moment back to you. You can make a star with your body. If you're staying seated, you can draw your shoulders more down your back. Palms can face up or they can face to the floor and your feet can kind of just flop out to the left and right. Relax the space between your eyebrows. Notice if you're holding any tension there. Relax your jaw and the space behind your ears. Notice if you're clenching your teeth. See if you can pull your tongue away from the roof of your mouth to let your face relax a little more. And again, relax your eyebrows just a smidge more. Inhale, exhale, let your shoulders melt into the mat, letting everything become really, really heavy. Relax your spine, relax your lower back and the backs of your legs. Relax each toe, letting them get really, really heavy. Find stillness. Again, coming back to that intention. There's nowhere to go. No one to see, no one to talk to right now. Just you and yourself. Let your eyes get a little heavier. As thoughts start to pop up, see if you can watch them float by, kind of like cars on a train. 
Remember, the goal of mindfulness is not to think about nothing. We're never thinking about nothing. Your goal is to watch your thoughts and just kind of watch them float away. Really controlling your thoughts. So watch your thoughts, but try not to think about them too hard. Notice any colors that pop up or sounds. Don't think about them, just notice them. And when you're ready, you can roll over onto your favorite side or you can just kind of let your body become a little heavier. Make a pillow with your hands or your shoulder, something that's comfortable for you. And when you're ready, you can start to push yourself up to a seated position, keeping your eyes closed if it's comfortable for you, or you can just kind of look down. And just notice if there's a shift in any energy in your body. Notice any vibrations. Maybe take two fingers and pinch them together. Notice if you, you feel any different. Seeing what you let go, problems from the day, and seeing if you can leave it all here on the mat just to have a relaxing night. Let's take a breath in together, breathe in. Exhale, let it out. You guys are fantastic. You made my day, thank you. Bring your hands in towards your heart. The light in me honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you, Stephanie. And thank you so much for taking the lead on that when my internet went out. Oh, no problem. <laughs> I just want to give everyone today's mindfulness code word, which is HIP. H-I-P. HIP. Hip. <laughs>